Hi, good evening, students, faculty, and staff of Pinecrest Community. This is your host, Tiffany Wade, with Chef Tiff. Welcome to tonight's episode. We are making homemade guacamole with Haas avocados from Mexico. What a delicious way to start the evening off with a great snack for each and every one of you. So avocado is our superfood for the month of May. We're going into the summer season. It's a great snack. It's refreshing. It's great for you. It has 20 different vitamins and minerals to include folate and vitamin K. So great for your body. In the month of May, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. And on the 5th of May, in our schools, we will be doing a guacamole tasting and an avocado toast tasting. So let's begin. We're always gonna to wanna to start washing our hands, right? Which is the most important thing to do, especially with everything that's going on today with the COVID-19 virus out there. So again, we're gonna start with our very hot water, but not, not hot enough to burn your hands. Okay, we're gonna rinse our hands off, and remember it's 20 seconds long, two pumps of soap. We're gonna get all the way up to those elbows, like I said on the first episode of Chef Tip. Okay, wanna get really in there, get underneath your nails, get the palms and the tops of your hands all the way up. I'm sure you're getting all those yucky germs off. Like I said, especially when you're doing anything in the kitchen. And just please be advised, if you are in the kitchen doing anything, making any type of dish, make sure you have adult supervision. All right. Nice and clean. So again, we don't turn off the faucet until we dry our hands and our arms. Again, going down, getting all that water off, okay? And then we turn the faucet off with the towel and clean up any spill that, that happens, okay? All right, so our first main ingredient is avocados. These avocados are nice and ripe. You don't wanna use avocados that are not ripe yet because they will not work for your homemade guacamole. You want it almost to be a little bit mushy like this, okay? So if you've noticed, I have scored these avocados already, okay? But I am going to show you how to cut and peel the avocado. I saved one just for you. So here it is, again, it's nice and ripe, not mushy, firm, a little firm, okay? So you are going to take your paring knife, okay? And you're going to score it, basically. Okay, I'm gonna use my cutting board here. I'm gonna score it all the way around. Okay, so now it's cut all the way around. You're then gonna twist it open like so. Look at what a beauty that is. Okay, and you have a pit in there. That pit's a little difficult to take out, so I would let your parents do that part, okay? You're gonna take a knife. This knife is kind of a big knife, but again, let your parents do it. You're gonna kind of bang on the pit so you get the pit on the knife and it comes out nice and easy, okay? So one, two, three, nice and hard. It comes right out off the knife. And then you're gonna take the towel and just make sure that you're not cutting yourself and remove the pit. See, that was pretty simple. Okay, all right. Now you're gonna take your paring knife, which is the little knife, and you're gonna score it, okay? You're gonna score it like so. One, two, three, without going through the skin. One, two, three, four. And it looks like kind of like tic-tac-toe, okay? Now we have all of our halves of our avocados scored, peeled, and ready to go inside the bowl. We are now gonna take a tablespoon and we're gonna go around the corners of each avocado, pretty much spooning it out, okay? Right into the bowl. And if you see, you have a nice, clean avocado. Cleaned out, I should say. So let's do that with the rest. We're gonna stick that right into our bowl, right around. And 
again, go right around there, get in each nook and cranny. No waste, we don't like waste, right? All right. There we go. Let's get the excess off there. Okay, I have to score one more because I forgot to score the other half of the other one. Okay, great. Go right in there. There we go. This is a yummy, nutritious meal. And again, avocados are very good for you. Like I said, they have a whole bunch of vit vitamins and minerals, and they are a good fat. It's one of our uh, fatty acids that are very, very good for you. Okay. Go. And then we're finally on the last one here. Very good. Get that off there, your finger. Okay. The next ingredient in guacamole is going to be a half a cup of fresh cilantro, which we have right here in the front, okay? You're gonna dump that ingredient right in there, like so. And then we also have a cup, uh, excuse me, a half a cup of fresh red onion. Delicious. Also very good for you. Now this recipe doesn't call for garlic, but I'm a garlic lover and I think that it kind of gives the guacamole a little bit of a kick. So I put a half a teaspoon of fresh garlic in there. And we're gonna do a quarter, a quarter of a cup of fresh lime juice. You can use your presser, okay, for that. There we go. It's gonna give it a whole bunch of great flavor. We also have, let's see, four tablespoons of jalapeno. Um, this is the green jalapeno that you get in your, in your grocery store. So you mix, mince it up nice and fine, okay? And be very careful with the jalapeno because they do have seeds that don't want to touch your face or your eyes with them, okay? <laughs> Definitely not. You have salt. It's gonna give it that little kick and of course now you've got three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper awesome so now you have all your ingredients in the bowl you're basically just going to want to mash it up with a fork excuse me as i get a fork here kind of just combine all the ingredients together okay this looks fun. Oh, this looks really good and yummy. I'm gonna have this as a snack while I watch my episodes tonight, my programs, how exciting. I hope everyone's staying busy, busy with their virtual learning and you're learning a lot from all these wonderful teachers that we have here at Pinecrest. We are staying busy here as we are home, working from home bringing you some great videos and uh, nutritional things. I know Janelle sent out a video on um, beverages and how much sugar is in a, you know, a, a glass of soda, which is incredible, almost like a whole cup of sugar, right? That's why we want to stay away from those bad things like soda. Maybe once in a while, but not all the time. Oh, this is coming together just great. Kind of just want to mash it up, you know? Just kind of mash it up like so here look at how nice that looks it's vibrant it's colorful so delicious and we're almost done it's such an easy recipe to do especially if your parents are having a gathering and you know you're having your friends over and your friends you know your parents um, the parents of your friends come over and they hang out with your pick you know they hang out with your parents Kind of like a little gathering so hopefully when this is all over you know you guys can have play dates and stuff all right so we are ready to put this in our final bowl for serving look at how gorgeous oh my god i love it so let's get our platter ready to go and if you've noticed i do have the chips ready to go here for you 
the magic of television. So we're just gonna kinda plate it up and present it up. And here's your homemade guacamole with tortilla chips with great avocados from Mexico. Thank you for watching everybody. I just wanna let you know one more thing. Our Create Your Plays have come in for our lower school from pre-K through second grade. I know that you know Janelle Reeves. She is our nutrition wellness manager for both schools in Boca as well as Fort Lauderdale. And she's been teaching you guys about Create Your Plate one, two, three, having a fully balanced meal with fruits, grains, vegetables, and proteins. More to come on this amazing education. Faculty, staff, students of Pinecrest, keep safe, be well, and be kind. See you next time on Chef Tiff.